Hello everyone and welcome back. And this review is going to be of another Oxford Diecast Taxi. And I'm going to get right on into it. So it's just a plain black taxi. And this one is model number 76FX4001. And taking a look at it, you know, there's no detail or writing, but we're going to get an up close of the taxi. Just pretty cool. And then turning it around, looks like it's got a license plate or something right there on the back. The writing is real small. Got the rear tail lights. No mirrors on it, a little different. Nicely done, a little small. Uh, taking a look at the front. I like how it says taxi right there, right above the uh, windshield. That's pretty cool. It's got a license plate on the bumper. It's pretty cool. Got a lot of nice, a little bit of detail to it, but not a whole lot. Wasn't like the previous two taxis. So even though this is just a plain taxi, I really like the look of this one. Uh, Looks very much like a real taxi, even though there's really not a lot of detail to it. But I think it's still pretty cool. The design of this one, it's a bit similar to the previous, to the previous taxi. I did the London, the London Union Jack taxi with the front of it. The other taxi was a little uh, differently shaped than this one, but that's pretty cool. Things that I think that's what makes them unique. Um, kind of a lit, well, probably something you would see today, but kind of looks a little old fashioned if you ask me. Um, pretty cool. Not too much to say about this one, but I still think it's pretty cool for a London taxi, even though it's really not decorated. And, you know, it may not even be from London. It could be from anywhere, really. It's pretty, so it's kind of fun to imagine it could be from another part of part of England or somewhere else but it's pretty cool it's just a plain one so that's what that's what I think is pretty cool about this one the fact that it could be from anywhere so it's a pretty nice one I would give this model a 10 because of how realistic it looks to the real live vehicle and just the design of it, it's pretty cool even though there's really not a whole lot of detail it's still a pretty cool vehicle and especially for a 176 scale model vehicle. So if you're someone who likes collecting 176 scale model vehicles or uh, vehicles like the taxis, these are ones to get for your collection because they're pretty cool. So if you were to come across this one, I would highly recommend getting it for your collection as it is pretty cool. So be sure to keep your eyes open for this one. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this review and please stay tuned for the next one.